I'm not making enough progress, I'm super slow with everything I'm doing. If I continue in this pace, I'm, I don't think I'll be able to finish it in time. I've been living in my 1979 Mercedes camper for two years now. I love that van, but it was itching me to do my own conversion. Alone and without any experience, I sold my old van and started with my very own van build. Hey, and welcome back to my camper van conversion build series. I'm gonna start working on the insulation. I'm still waiting for some deliveries, but I can show you what I already got. So if you guys have already seen a camper conversion, usually people try to take these stiff mats out of foam because they have really good insulation value. I'm going to use these two, but those are still in delivery. What people also use for um, areas that need something more flexible, um, they use something like glass wool or just any mineral wool. I didn't want to use that because it's not very healthy if you work with that and you don't use proper protection. So this here is my replacement. It's basically just shredded wood, um, but it is treated so that it doesn't mold and it doesn't um, attract insects and also doesn't burn as easily. It's a little bit more eco-friendly. It's also basically relatively flexible. Let's get started. I hope my ability of cutting things will improve. <laughs> so let's see if this wonderful piece of art fits. Honestly, it doesn't look like it. So this stuff leaves a lot of mess, um, but the good thing is that you can use this, these parts to just stuff in all these little Pockets. I'm not too sure what I should think about this material yet. I really, I really like the smell. It smells really nice and really like wood. As for how handy it is to work with, I'm not quite sure. And this is one door done. Looking not too bad, right? So, doors are insulated. It's not very pretty because, you know, because of all these patches and stuff, but the material wasn't as easy to work with as I thought. But, you know, it worked out in the end. I've gone around and put the insulation in all of these parts, and they don't like, look like it now, but they're actually pr quite deep. It took quite some time until I got them filled. And this one is the last one that I still have to fill up yet. And then that will be done. And basically you can't see any of this because it's all underneath, but this has to be done too. So guys, I just found a leak. So this is the spot where you can see where there's some water. And it's actually quite nice to see right now because of all these pieces of this insulation. Here in the back, um, there are the screws that come from the track out there from the door. I'm quite sure that it's leaking through the screws that um, attach this track of the door to the wall. So I'm gonna go in there and try to seal this up with Sigflex. I saw that there's this part here that is covered with metal, but you can hear that there's lots of air back there, which I would like to also insulate, but obviously it's an open on both sides, so I think I'm actually going to cut in there to open it up. Let's safety first. Probably somewhere here. You know, maybe I should start with a small one. 
And again. Okay, that's not very pretty, admittedly, um, but I can now go inside with my hand and feel that there are no cables. I think I'm gonna give it another try and make it look a bit nicer. There you go. Just treat that with hammerite again, and then let's stuff some insulation in there. Good morning, everyone. Finally, this behind me here. It's my insulation. It's finally here. So I can finally start insulating. I feel like my vlogs recently started like this all the time. <laughs> oh, something finally arrived so I can start working on it. This is the insulation that I got. It's a uh, polyurethane or however you call this in English insulation. I got it in three different sizes. So this is going to be for the ceiling probably. This is going to be for the floor. And those ones are gonna be for the walls because I have a lot of space on the walls. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm gonna start with these thick um, panels. They have aluminum on both sides, um, but I am going to strip one side like this one because I don't need a vapor barrier on two sides. I just need an old side. And like that, I might be able to save some weight. Who knows? And it's easier to chop them down a little bit. I'm gonna use the same knife that I used for the styco. So let's see, let's try. Chop some stuff. I just cut my finger at the aluminum here on this insulation. Oh, here too, actually. I should wear some gloves, huh? All right, let's continue. <laughs> A lot of mess down here. You don't even want to see it. Um, and now it kind of fits in there. It fits in here and if you push on it here a little bit you can see that it kind of lines up here. It took me just like, I don't know, more, maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour to chop those down so I might have to come up with a better strategy. <laughs> this is where I'm at right now. Um, I basically finished this side. Well, I'm getting close to being done. And now I started this side, so this is completely empty. Started chopping on this thing, and it's basically already the end of the day. But it's a tedious task, kind of, but it's nice because there's actually something happening here. So, this is the thing that you don't see. <laughs> uh, there was lots of chopping and slicing for those parts, and there are some more parts to come. I switched over to using this saw. It creates a bit more dust, but it's much easier to cut through. God, look at this mess. Oh. So, good morning, guys. Yesterday I finished up quite late. Um, it took me still a lot of time to do all the stuff, and I still didn't finish. And um, this morning, I don't know, I felt a little bit anxious about the whole project because I'm a bit over a month in this project now, and as you can see, there I still have a lot of stuff ahead of me. I only have limited time and I need to get and I need to finish this project before I go to university and finish my bachelor. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a university student and I still have to finish my bachelor, which I want to do um, in autumn. And um, if I don't finish this project, 
Uh, that would be quite difficult because I want to live in here while I'm doing my bachelor. So I need electricity to use my laptop and also I need to be able to register it as a, an RV. So certain things just have to be done. So I feel like I'm not making enough progress. I'm super slow with everything I'm doing. And with every step that I did before, I was just like, oh yeah, this is taking a lot of time now, but I'm sure the next step will be just so much easier. And I especially thought this about the insulation, but this is taking so much time now too. And I mean, I knew that before that everything is gonna take much longer than expected and stuff, but it's taking even longer than I thought it would be already with this assumption that everything takes longer. <laughs> so, you know, that's just the way it is. And um, let's just hope that things actually do get faster because like, if I continue in this pace, I'm, I don't think I'll be able to finish it in time. Yeah, so as you can see behind me, this is just a mess back there. But let's get going, let's, let's start working on it. But before I do anything, I need to clean up this mess a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six seven bags of the insulation and one back there for this aluminum that I removed that is a lot of trash now you're probably saying hey Len you why do you why do you create so much trash what are you doing um, let me show you the reasons are mostly these panels they're pretty wide down there and get smaller up here it's also the same with with this one it curves around like that so I had to shave off so that this is small and this is bigger and because the curvature doesn't really work well i had to shave off even more so honestly i feel pretty bad about creating that much trash it's a lot of trash and if i had known that i would create that much trash by shaving off these size of this insulation I would have maybe chosen thinner ones so that I don't have to shave them off that much maybe I wouldn't have bought this um, wooden insulation here maybe I could have just shredded the insulation trash thing and put it in these that might have actually could have worked quite well but if I'm ever gonna do this again I'm going to do everything different <laughs> done covering the sides with the insulation and I've glued these three panels um, to the side so that they're a bit closer so that they stay in and I stabilized those with some wooden beams and as you can see there are still a lot of gaps and little cracks in the thing so I'm gonna fill this up with some foam and the thing that I'm using is a German brand. They claim to be to have less emissions and be a bit more environmentally friendly and better for you when you're living in the space that you're using this for. So um, I don't know. I never used this stuff before. I never used any spray foam things before. So that will be the first. And let's see how well that works. That's it. That was not very much. I think actually the problem is right now that it is too cold for the foam. It doesn't seem to get sieve right. So that's not good. It said on the package that it is for plus 15 degrees Celsius. And it is about 15 degrees Celsius. I thought that would be enough. Well, I guess it's just below the temperature that I need, so it's not working. 
probably need to do it another day where it's a bit warmer or I need to pre like, need to heat the space a little bit better before. So I am still have to wait until this stuff is set at some point, that's somehow, because it's just completely sticky and fluid right now. So until then I need to find something else to do. Let's see. So this is what I've been up to. The beams for the floor insulation. With those those beams I will be able to put, um, screw down my furniture and you might already be able to guess my layout which I haven't talked about yet there will be an episode in the future but this will be the structure that's also going to um, divide the floor insulation so the next step is to cut these boards into size and put them between the beams but it's already getting dark so I'm gonna do this tomorrow so see you tomorrow. result looks like. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I found a much nicer way of cutting or more breaking the pieces of insulation so I'm not making that much of a mess. Still had some carving to do. There was also not less curvature. I mean none. So I mean that made it a bit easier. So but that's good. Um, that's great. That's cool. The next step will be to put some aluminum tape on things to seal them up. Um, to have a continuous vapor barrier. But before I'm gonna do this, I first need to glue down these um, wooden beams here. But I'm going to do this tomorrow because the day is already getting to an end. And um, yeah, so bright and early tomorrow, I'll remove everything, glue down the wooden beams, and put in the insulation in between. All right, um, thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. I just cut my finger at the al aluminum. Aluminum. Alun. <laughs> That's what I have to say. <laughs>